so we had just moved back from Singapore, back stateside to Illinois. And um, probably within a week of being home, we noticed that she was having digestive issues. She was having rashes. And so we knew something was wrong. Um, so we sought out a pediatrician and they tested her positive for peanuts and tree nuts and removal of those from her diet. Um, but her symptoms continued to worsen. At that point, we were doing trial and error, basically on my own research, just because I kind of felt like we were dismissed by doctors. Um, but we then moved to Michigan um, and those symptoms were worsening. And so we sought out a gastroenterologist here and she pre-diagnosed June with eosinophilic esophagitis. And what that is, eosinophilic esophagitis, is when white blood cells collect in the esophagus and the digestive tract. Uh, the average person has zero and you have to have 15 in order to be diagnosed. But those um, eosinophils cause inflammation within the digestive tract and basically kind of attack the system. At that point, her counts were still 156, which is the worst case that that doctor had ever seen. I just, my stomach was not, like, feel, not feeling that great. And heartburn, and you were tired, we missed a lot of school. Um, I, I missed a lot. We missed a lot of school, and she just wasn't growing like the rest of her. She ended up going off of her own growth chart, so she's um, in the zero percentile compared to the rest of kids that are nine years old. So 2021, um, she started a steroid, which is budesonide, and currently that is not FDA approved for this disease. Um, and while it did improve her symptoms, she still wasn't feeling 100%. And along with the failure to thrive, they decided to send us to the Cincinnati Children's Hospital where they have a department just for eosinophilic diseases. So to help raise awareness, June hosted a lemonade stand the summer of last year before we made our trip to Cincinnati Children's Hospital. We made uh, a lot of goodies and we used uh, a lot of them and we, we donated a, um, like a thousand dollars to Cured to the Cured Foundation, which is in support of the research for eosinophilic diseases. Then when we got to the hospital, we got to tour that research lab and they knew who June was just because of her lemonade stand. Yeah. It was really good. I got to know a lot more people and they were really nice to me. And I got, they sped me up in the bed I had my scope done, and they said, do you want to go fast or do you want to go slow? <laughs> Which one did you choose? I chose fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> May is eosinophilic awareness month and so doing this interview is really important to June and I to help bring awareness to eosinophilic diseases and to help raise funds for research. There is currently no cure for eosinophilic esophagitis. And um, for her age group specifically, there is not an FDA approved drug. So right now we are we're hoping um, that her age group and her weight is up next um, to help her to succeed in her treatment. So she plays point guard and she's probably three heads shorter than everybody else, but she will block them and she dribbles right around everybody. I also ride horses and I've been riding since I was three. I'm almost four. And um, I went to Atlanta and I won three blue ribbons against adults. She's, I always say she's a very stubborn, strong, strong-willed child and that is definitely helped her in, in this treatment. Um, she will not let anything stop her and she's not gonna let this disease stop her either. So that makes Mama Heart happy and I am just so proud and envious as to how she can just be so strong. Um, we're just gonna keep on raising awareness and we got this, right? Yeah. <laughs>